Parker. Camera set. Action! So I knew it was Shooter. And I've been watching him for a long, long time. And I always felt that he was able to sort of reach that kind of performance. And I knew that he could do it. I was born a free man. Can I get a kiss, please? Thank you. Until the day I was kidnapped and sold into slavery. We had a pretty extraordinary script. And at that point, we got Chiwetel Ejiofor to commit to playing Solomon. If you want to survive, do and say as little as possible. Well, I don't want to survive. I want to live. Chiwetel got on board, and there was never another Solomon. Pick your cut. Move along, huh? When I first read the script and the book, I'd never read or seen anything like that in my life. The book as a template is so useful as a way of trying to understand this character and this time. Master bought you here to work. I don't want to hear a word out of none of you. But once you read Solomon's autobiography, it puts you in a certain mindset where you start to get a little glimpse into what he's going through and what he is seeing. I originate from Canada. I guess where that is. Well, I know where Canada is. I've been there myself. Well, travel for a slave. Once I started to see that, to really feel what that emotional journey would mean for someone, it's impossible to kind of lose it. It's something that has really penetrated me. Went down to the River Jordan. Going to the plantations in the south and being in places where some of these things occurred. And that burning heat. The violence that he sees occur. You do get a glimpse of what the day to day must have been like. It's quite a thing. Chiwetel conjures up the most profound empathy, not just because of the situation, there's something about him and what he transmits as an actor that's just very, very earnest, very vulnerable, very sharp, and you really care for him. Working with Chiwetel, who's very experienced and a great actor, been a fan of his work for a long time, so bright and so just ready. It's kind of incredible. The confidence and poise and prep is really impressive. He allowed the rest of us to have that same kind of work ethic. Let's go about this with an efficiency and a sense of duty. My back is thick with scars for protesting <laughs> our freedom. Watching Chiwetel was, to me, a masterclass in subtlety and in nuance, because he did have this 12 years of his story to tell and starting in one place and I was able to see all of it just alive in him. You can't imagine how difficult it was to do what he had to do. He's in every scene. Emotionally, as an actor, it's a rigorous workout. I worked with a dialect coach and strove to indicate the passage of 12 years to the hair, makeup, voice, physicality. He became very much in depth in Solomon and that was impressive to see. Days ago, I was with my family in my home. Now you tell me all is lost. It takes all the courage and strength to keep within that character for that period of time. I thought you knowed something. I did as instructed. There's something wrong. It's wrong with the instruction. We just knew going in that it was going to be a physical strain to reenact those exact things. Your story, it is amazing, and in no good way. You come here. Master Adler. I said come here! But it felt it was such a strong part of the story. I will survive! I will not fall into despair! I will keep myself hardy till freedom is opportune! It was tough sort of emotionally and physically, but every day there was a sense of really connecting to Solomon and his story. And reenacting something that he went through and trying to reenact it in the detail that he describes it was something that really was very important to me. It would be an unspeakable happiness to see my wife and my family again. Chiwetel is the ability and nobility to sort of hold the camera and hold the whole film together. It was an extraordinary journey to go on, and I knew that it would be. I was a free man. I'm not a slave.